Alrighty guys, I'm back with more Fallout 3. I wanted to do a little bit of the DLC before I moved on to New Vegas, but I've been having some trouble getting it to work. So I disabled all of the other files that came with the Game of the Year edition, and see it uh, fusses at me a little bit. But when I ask um, Fox over here... I suppose this is... <clears throat> Goodbye, Fred. It is. Now, when I ask him to go in here, it seems to change uh, the ending, and I think it enables the DLC. I alt f forward really quickly when I saw something different. I thought, oh boy, I think I've got it working. So, here we go. But, you said, uh, of course, my immunity to radiation makes me a far better candidate for surviving in there. <laughs> I would say that your destiny lies within that chamber, but uh, you have already altered mine. The least I can do is return the favor. Cycle the airlock and we'll put an end to this. All right, so let me mosey over here. And if you're still there, the purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much time left. There we go. Sacrificing Fox instead of... Uh, lions this time around, but this seems to be the only way I can get the DLC to start up. I don't really know why my ending choice should impact whether or not the DLC starts, but I don't know how else to get the DLC to actually start. Every time I've tried picking a different ending or tried getting the DLC to start, it would just cycle back to the main screen and I could never leave this area that I'm I'd have to uh, restore a save from before I ever started this quest. Alright, Fox looks like he's doing alright. I think he's able to withstand it, so... I think we've... Are we able to do this without a casualty? It looks like he's kicking it. <laughs> Maybe he's having a rough time. <laughs> Fade to brightness here. So and so it was the that the Lone Wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. I had to watch this ending about 30 times trying to figure out- It was not until the end of this long road that the lone wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example, instead allowing a true hero to venture into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity. Oh, so he's the true hero now. <laughs> Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So, those scenes are different. so ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival 
is a war without end. And war... Never changes. War never changes. Alrighty, so after this should start something new. Here we go, I get to play some more! I finally got it to work! Two weeks later, this is all blind from here. I all deaf forward when I saw this. After all this, to be left in a state like that? Let's see, I'm waking up, it seems. Where am I? Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Oh, so she's still not doing very good. All right, sorry I had to pick a different ending, but I could not get to this point in the game. Every single time I tried anything different, it just looped me back around to the main screen. So this is the only way I can continue to play. Yay! So I, like I said, I'm going to do a, a little bit of DLC. I'm not going to spend too much more time on Fallout 3. I need to move on to New Vegas and 4. But I'd like to see what this broken steel stuff is about and find out more about uh, maybe its relationship with the Brotherhood. Um, all right, where's Sarah? Is she okay? What's going on? What happened? How did I get here? Yeah, so what happened? Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. Okay. What about the purifier? Did it work? Did we win? Did we beat the Enclave? How long was I out? So what happens now? Well, bye. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's let's find out something first. So I'm assuming everyone has nice, clean water. Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. Oh. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the Wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Oh boy, well there's all the feel-goods and congratulations I've been wanting. Wow, well I think it's gonna take a few centuries before, you know, all that clean water will affect the land, but at least people aren't going to be turning green from having a sip of water now. So what's going on with the Enclave? Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. <laughs> nice. The robot. All right. So I guess I've been out for two weeks. Just about two weeks. Oh, how'd I know? Don't worry. We've been taking good care of you. All right. So I can tell. Now what? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Hmm. I don't know what, you know, the DLC or expansion, I don't know what it is, is called Broken Steel. I thought there would be some problems in the ranks of the Brotherhood of Steel. You got the, you know, steel things going on. Well, maybe he, there's more going on than he's letting on. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. H hey, now. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks as well as where our efforts are focused now. 
I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal. But the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. All right. Ooh, there we go. See, now I'm... There we go. So, it's weird, I guess. I already had the level cap increase, but the DLC wouldn't start. I don't know. Oh, Project Impurity Quest complete. It feels good. All right, so what else can you tell me about the fight against the Enclave? What's going on with the Purifier? How is Sarah? She's right here. Unresponsive, but stable. To see that you've recovered gives me hope. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out as time passes about her. All right, what else can you tell me about the Enclave fight? As you know, I had my reservations about engaging the Enclave. They did not directly attack us, and I believed we had time. Time to be cautious. Their assault on the purifier forced our hand. We had no choice but to engage them directly. And once that engagement was begun, we could do nothing but see it through to the end. If they had not considered us a threat before, they do now. So we have spent the time since you and I last spoke systematically locating and destroying every bastion of Enclave force we can. Liberty Prime has proven far more successful than any of us could have hoped for. Hmm, I hope we got good control over it then. Last thing we need is a rogue robot. All right, hmm. I think I see where this might be going. So once the um, once these guys get rid of the Enclave, there's not really a whole lot of people to stand up to the Brotherhood of Steel in this area. Hopefully, you know, that much power doesn't corrupt absolutely. The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. Ooh, okay. All right. Guess I'm done with you for now. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. All right. Level 20. Oh, maybe I didn't have the level cap increase. I thought I did. And eh, whatever. Okay, so now I'm 21, and I don't even know what I want. I might as well maximize that um gosh i really don't know anymore now that i've got a, a level cap increase um i i guess well will i have any speech checks that go any higher than this i mean well i mean i guess it increases the chance of success right hmm <laughs> man i'll go with that all right i'm 21 are there any new stuff is there any new stuff um, all your action points. Mm, looks like there might... Oh yeah, it looks like there might be some stuff by 22. I guess it also depends if I've got the right skills for it. Alright. Um, <laughs> not really sure what I want. Uh, extra life points. I might not be bad, actually. A health bonus when using stim packs. Gosh, I know I've been through a million of them. Gosh, I kind of feel like, does it matter anymore? I mean, well, I mean, of course it matters, but animal friend, maybe? <laughs> well, you know, if I've got more of an adventure to go, I might as well get it. Why not? Sure. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess, let's see, she's still out cold, huh? And, oh, Fox is still with me. All right, so... I patiently await your word. No hard feelings about what I, me sending you into the purifier, I take it. I had hoped you'd return. What now? Um, let's get going. I wanted to talk to you about something. Just wanted to make sure you were still here. I want to... Oh, does he have anything to say? Yes. Best to formulate a plan. What is it? Um, oh, okay. Well, I thought a... Hmm, all right, I thought a sentient mutant, after all, that might have something to say, but... And I shall follow! I guess not. All right, well, I'm still just glad he's here. Another glorious day in this man's army. All right, well, let's see. I guess nothing will really change in this area, so... 
I'll just uh, uh, go talk with that scribe, uh, scribe dude, wherever the heck he is. I'm just gonna follow my little compass here. Been a oops, oops, oops. Been a couple weeks since I played, so I kind of got a little flustered with not being able to get the DLC to work. So I thought, oh gosh, I guess I should just move on to New Vegas. But I'm playing so many games right now. I'm not sure if I want to move on to New Vegas yet. All right, I guess he's in here. Oh my goodness, where is this dude? Hold on. Okay, just a bit further to go. Goodness. Well, I'm glad I get to continue playing now that I have a bunch of really awesome equipment. Like, I guess I should have maybe put some points in, like, pla like I guess, energy weapons. I guess a plasma weapon is considered an energy weapon, huh? It's good to see you again. All right, I need to talk to you. Well, it's good to see that you're on your feet again. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves? Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? Let's see, I've learned a little bit, but I uh, was hoping you could tell me the details. He said he'd give me the details. All I know is that you need my help. Again, Melp, he said he'd give me the details. Well, Owen does have quite a bit on his mind lately, as I'm sure you can imagine. This is the first time the actions of the Brotherhood have affected him in such a personal manner. Please, step over here. I'll bring you up to speed. Ooh. Okay, I guess this is where the broken steel comes in. Looks like we're, are we gonna go to this map here? I'll give you a brief history of what's happened over the last few weeks and what's going on now. As you well know, this all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters here was utterly destroyed. They then suffered a second defeat at the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, other Enclave locations throughout the Wasteland were found. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray. This has not been the case. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the Enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. Ooh. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point, an old military installation in Rockland to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up the forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in, eliminate any opposition inside, and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. Now, did you have any other questions? Holy moly, that was complicated. All right. Um, geez, well, where do I start? If there's anything else you'd like to know, I'll tell you what I can. Otherwise, Paladin Tristan will be waiting. Ooh. I'll alert him that you're on your way. All right. Uh, I'd like to know more. Yeah, how, how is Liberty Prime holding up? Oh my gosh, there's a lot to talk about. Okay, actually, yeah, how is Liberty Prime holding up? Performance is exceeding all our expectations. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. Nice. We are fine-tuning his programming as we go, but on the whole, I'm pleasantly surprised. Hmm. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Lee helped us solve that problem, well, <laughs> the rest was easy. I feel like there's going to be a rogue giant robot in my future, and I really hope not. Alright, uh, how's the purifier doing? It was determined that the Brotherhood should directly oversee the purifier, as so as to prevent any mishaps. Oh, was it? Scribe Bigsley was placed in charge of the operation and is directly overseeing our efforts. Hmm. Well, I don't know about this. You guys are just making choices here, but I guess, you know, someone's got to protect it better these guys than anyone else, right? Okay, well, um, I don't know if... Can you tell me anything new? I'm afraid you're asking the wrong person. Um, 
Why are you the wrong person to ask? I'd like to hear what you have to say. Yeah. If you insist, what do you want to know? Alright, why are you here? You... How long have you been here? You seem to have a pretty small organization. Um, not sure if any of this is going to be too new or not. Well, that depends on who you ask. Lions will tell you it's because we're protecting the poor, innocent people of the Capital Wasteland. Most others here will tell you the same thing. They'll do anything for that man. Okay, well, but not everyone agrees? No, not everyone. But for a variety of reasons, those who disagree are no longer with us. The outcasts. See, I thought the uh, outcasts would become a bit more prominent with this DLC or something. Alright, um, super mutant? Hmm. Not really. No. Not even the one behind me? Alright. And so you go. And so I guess I do. Alright, let's see where is this uh, paladin fellow at. Oh, it looks like he's outside. I, is he... I guess he's gonna be way... The Brotherhood. Let me look at my map here. <laughs> oh my gosh, ever since it ever since every area got discovered, this this is just an absolute disaster. I know there I know there were so many areas you, you guys recommended that I check out like um Vault uh, Vault 108 I think was one of them and oh yeah, and Canterbury Common. So okay, thankfully the interesting stuff seems to be kind of in the same area, so I'll probably be doing that at some point. The Anchorage thing was also DLC, so I have to re-enable that. I'm not sure what's going to happen when I re-enable um, DLC. Oh boy, so this is way across the map. All right, we got another adventure. Cool. It is okay. at your service. Hail. I don't know if I should do that immediately or if I should do some of the other DLC for, or well, exciting quests, I shouldn't say other DLC because like I just said, I have all of it but Broken Steel turned off right now. And I'm not really sure how that imp it's, that's going to impact my game because it's, uh, when I did that it gave me a little warning, so I don't know if I still have my house in Megaton or whatever. I can't imagine why I wouldn't, but you know, I... Hey. Oh. Like I said, I don't know hey what there. all that affected. All right, so I need to go see. Um, I need to go see Sharon again too. But last time I was in the Ghoul area, I, I think I made a few enemies. So I don't know if uh, if everyone's gonna be cool with me or not. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm gonna unload a few things real quick. I will try not to take too long. Oh, geez, that's really nice. I might need to hang on to it. Oh, gosh, and I still have all those. I never turned in any of these fingers. I have so much stuff that I've never done anything with all these laser rifles. I'll keep one with me. Oh, my gosh. I li like I said, I'll try not to spend too long in here. I'll just move some stuff over and go back on my little adventure. And I'll diddle around with my inventory a little bit more, maybe later. I just uh, I just want to see what all's changed right now. I'm just eager to play with the game, and it always takes me forever to get through, or get through my inventory. So, just, um, you know what, I'm just going to unload anything that's not this plasma weapon, and I'll use an assault rifle, maybe. <laughs> oh, well, I should probably keep some of this stuff. I don't want to get too eager, I, or too over-eager to dump everything. I think I'm going to keep my sweet Enclave armor. If I'm going to be fighting Enclave, I think I uh, want to do it with their equipment to make them mad. Alright, uh, cleaned out a little bit of inventory space. It's not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. I just, um, just want to check out what's different right now. Okay, so first thing I want to do is get Sharon back. So let me zoom in here and try to <laughs> oh my gosh, there's the, I never discovered the White House? Oh my gosh, there's just so much to this game I've never been to, and that's why, that's why it's hard to, um, 
I think this is the right place. That's why it's hard to move on to New Vegas because there's so much I want to see here. But at the same time, I re the amazing. Okay. <laughs> but at the same time, I really do. I don't know. Oh. Okay, so let's see. Are they still going to be hostile? Everyone's outside here. No one's shooting at me. By the amazing what? Aqua Cura. Aqua Cura? Is Drink this Aqua you? Cura with every meal. And wash your hands and feet ten times a day with soapy Aqua Cura. Aqua Cura? And soon you'll be doing magic tricks and juggling knives. Guaranteed. What the, what the heck is Well, hello like? there, smooth skin. Step right up. Have you come to savor the great taste of the amazing Aqua Cura? What the heck? When did this... This is new, right? When did this pop up? I saw this... So oh yeah, the quest added, added the amazing Aqua Cura. Okay. Well, because I, I saw the signs outside, but I was like, okay, it's been a while since I've played this game. Maybe I just don't remember those being there. I love the fake, <laughs> like, comb over here. Alright, is that any different from a regular Aqua Pura? You've got a nice head of hair for a cool. Tell you what, I'll trade you a piece of blue sky for a bottle. Alright, yeah, nice head of hair. <laughs> Aha! That's right, my dear. The amazing Aqua Cura will rescue, restore, and regrow your hair back from premature balding. Act now and I'll throw in a box of Abraxo for, wait for it, <laughs> free! Mix those together and you'll have the best shampoo known to mankind. <laughs> so, what do you say, young woman? Care to procure a bottle? Oh, this guy's a hoot. Oh, no, I... Oh, I should have put my lingerie on, apparently. Oh, my gosh, my speech is at 31. This sucks. All right, how much are you selling them for? I think I'll pass. Let's see, I, I don't think I can do the free sample one. Let's try. A free <gasps> sample, you say? Hmm. Well, I normally don't do this, but for you, for this one time only, a very special VIP promotional <laughs> offer. Ladies and gentlemen, ding, ding, ding! We have a new winner in our daily Aqua Cura sweepstakes. Here you go, ma'am, your free bottle. Step right up in the next five minutes and get your very own bottle of the amazing Aqua Cura at half price. Ladies and gentlemen, half price. Is it a, oh okay Have a dress from before the war that's seen better days pour a little aqua cura on it scrub vigorously with a stiff brush and get your party on your party on that's right <laughs> okay i thought that he was going to hand me a bottle of water where what is aqua cura it gives you radiation and water it's it's like dirty water, basically, but it's got a high value on it. It removes stains as well as oh headaches. Oh my gosh, are you these... I hope there's nothing wrong with your Aqua Cura. Remember, all sales are final. Um, now, how can I help you, dear returning customer of mine? <laughs> I might like a bottle of Aqua Cura. How much are you selling them for? I'm curious, where'd you get all this Aqua Cura? Pit Boy analysis shows that your Aqua Cura is irradiated. Interesting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so funny. All right, I'm going to go with that since that's literally what I just did. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> that doohickey on your wrist says the water's irradiated? That's a pretty fancy device if it can know something like that. But clearly it's uh, misinformed. You should get that fixed because it's definitely giving you false information. Hmm... Ooh, all right, you're clearly up to something. There's no denying it. Talk now. Karma, relax. I don't care. Take these morons. Oh, all for all their worth, I'm just curious. Oh, no. I, I do care. There's nothing. Why is that considered a car? That's, that, that's a good way to lose karma, I guess. Um, another speech check. Again, I should have put the lingerie on. Oh. You know, kid. You really ought to have proof before you go around insulting people like that. Now, if you don't mind, why don't you take your baseless accusations elsewhere? I have important business to conduct. Hmm. Have hmm. cap strapped friends or relatives? Hmm. 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 Let's no try, to... try this. Welcome back. What can I do for you? All right. Uh, here we go. I already told you. Your pipsqueak 2000 <laughs> or whatever it's called is broken. 
There's nothing wrong with the water. Oh, I didn't realize his dialogue would change. Oh, I don't have a thing again. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with my pip boy. Ha! I'd like to see you try and prove that. Uh, um, rather than... Even if it were true, you need to get proof to convince my customers. My, <clears throat> very loyal customers. What should I do? They're already do? convinced. Uh, I mean, they already see the many benefits of the amazing Aqua Cura. Hmm, how can have I Have you tried the amazing them. aqua cure? Little busy at the moment, all your friends and neighbors in. have. Busy? Shh. What? They are already enjoying Little busy at the, the moment. many benefits Smooth that skin. aqua cure brings. Hmm. Act in the next five minutes, and new hmm. customers will oh, get an extra bottle. Oh, it'd be a real shame if this stuff got knocked what over, are you wouldn't for? it? Oh, oh it'd, be, it'd be a real shame if someone were to just, Step oh, right you know, up. kick Step all this right stuff up. over. One and all, and purchase be a real the amazing shame. aqua cure. Oh. It's the answer to all There's your problems. Like, Guaranteed. can I do stuff to these? I'm definitely getting a bottle. No. Hmm. Having trouble concentrating? Tired of dry I feel like if I can open these up and show that there's then something the in there, but I should probably be careful with this Studies weapon. I don't want to hit anybody with it. <laughs> do 50% hmm. better on all standardized tests. It's a scientific fact. There's got to be a way to, is... to deal with this. Welcome those. back. What can I do for you? Let's see. Oh, I'm cur Oh, okay. I'm curious. Where'd you get all this? Yeah, where did you get it all? Really? What's it matter to you anyway? Oh, I'm not interested in making trouble. I'm just curious where you got the water. I'd l have thought giving Aqua Pure to a ghoul would seem like a waste. Just making conversation. I really don't care. All right, well, I can actually do the speech thing now. I'm not making trouble, sir. All right, but keep your mouth shut about it. The Brotherhood's happy just giving the stuff away, right? What? Well, they drove me out claiming ghouls don't need fresh water. Well... Big surprise that when I offered to pay for it, next thing I knew, I was talking to Scribe Bigsley, the guy in charge of the whole shebang. Didn't really want to, but on principle, I wanted to prove that ghouls are worth the cost, so I paid him. Now I'm stuck selling the stuff. Good thing whatever they put in it to kill the radiation also undoes the radiation damage to ghoul physiology. Oh. Thus, Aquapura becomes Aquacura. It's, so it's the uh, uh, the scribe then. All right. Um, how much are you selling them for anyway? Well, friend, how much would you be willing to pay for such an amazing product as the amazing Aqua Cura? Boy, that's a Many would pay fifty, okay. seventy-five, even a hundred bottle caps for such an amazing product with such an amazing guarantee. But for a limited time only, I am able to offer the amazing Aqua Cura. For an introductory, exceptionally low price. Care to take a guess at how much? Man, that's scummy. People do that, though. Like, areas that have been afflicted by, you know, hurricanes and there's, or, you know, any disaster. People will. They'll sell a bottle or a, a case of water for, like, $100 or $50 or something. You know, I guess, I mean, it's supply and demand, but <laughs> I think there gets to a point where you're just exploiting people, but, oh man, I don't know, 40 caps, do I really have to guess? I'm done playing your guessing game. Yeah, do I really have to? That's pretty sleazy. Why, yes. You can't imagine how low the special introductory price is. Go on, just guess. You'll never believe it. Mm -hmm. Look, just tell me the price or I'm leaving, I'm done playing. I don't know, uh, I don't want to get roped into buying anything. I don't know, 40 caps? No, ma'am. Try again. Lower. Ooh, free? Look, just tell me the price or I'm leaving. 30? Wrong. Try again. Lower still. 20? Mm -hmm. Nope. It's insane, isn't it? <laughs> How could I sell it for any less? But I can, and I will. Try again. Lower. Oh my gosh, this dude is like every snake whale infomercial ever. I don't even know how we can afford to sell it at this low, low price. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. For the low, low price of just 10 caps, you can walk away with your very own bottle of the amazing Aqua Cura. Oh, well, if he's only doing it for 10... 
You know, I mean, he's not really swindling people too bad. I mean, it's only ten caps. I mean, you know, if he were trying to swindle people for a hundred caps and they had no other access to water, I'd be a bit more salty. But, you know, these these people need to get out more. <laughs> sure, here's ten. I already got one. If I had, well, if I had ten caps. Oh, I didn't realize you were so poor. <laughs> well, tough break, kid. Maybe you can find someone who can spot you the caps. Ooh. If you'll excuse me, I have real customers waiting. All right, well, I still have the someone amazing to talk to, Not only so does it let me put this up, but it also reverses There might be trouble poison. in here, so let me save. And... All right, I'm... I don't think I'm in danger. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sketched out, because like I said, I... I made uh, made one of the ghouls kind of mad a while back, but I'm told Sharon's supposed to be here. Oh, you're wearing my oh here I don't want you're wearing my armor. You return. Shall I join you once again? Hi. I regret that I cannot join you at this time. You seem to already have. <gasps> oh 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 oh. Come back. Right. Uh. Fox. He's. Side question mark? He's not in here. Okay, well I'm just glad that Sharon's back. I like Fox, but he Sharon is bae. <laughs> so did uh, Fox just stay outside self. then? Or did he not come in with me? He, I, I currently don't have a follower, so... Oh boy. Oh boy. This game here. This game here with all of its bugs and loveliness. <laughs> okay, so here's Willow again, too. She's still hanging out here. Okay, well, I went in there to get Sharon. I don't know if... Um, oh, I bet Fox is still... I, he was in my house last, wasn't he? Oh my gosh, it's so hard to find everything now. Oh my gosh, where is Megaton? Okay, I feel like I need to zoom out more. Megaton is right there. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how massive this game is. And all of us here, thank oh, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the, you know, like I was saying, it's like I really do want to see it all, but man, I really, there's just so many other games. Oh my gosh, he's not in here either? Where did Fox go? Did I... Welcome home, madam. Did I leave him in the Citadel, I guess? I don't, uh, I guess he's still in the Citadel. This sucks. I don't know how to release my companion and get Sharon back, and I'm not actually sure if I can do anything without uh, my, one of my boys. Well, darn, this is kind of a bummer. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just, um, I don't, oh, you see, I don't want to start following all these other weird quests or anything. I, I just want to do the ones that you guys told me were pretty interesting because I keep saying I want to move on. So, But I do I do like this game. All right, so oh, wait, it is a long journey out to Rockland. I don't think I have any of these areas. Oh, my gosh, all of I. I think Girder Shade was one of the areas you guys wanted me to check out too, so there's a lot of stuff out west. So I think I definitely want to make sure that I'm well prepared for going out there. Which um, I feel like would be easier with one of my followers, but um, neither of them are interested in me right now, so I guess I'll begin making my journey to the west. Um, for this Paladin Tristan one, and I mean, I don't really know how to resolve the situation with not having my <laughs> my follower. I don't. I I feel like I left Fox in um, in uh, the Citadel, but I don't know. I'm just. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna start heading out here. All right. I think. Let's see. I think this is my closest um, closest area. Figure I can at least. Whoa! Ooh! Alright. 
Okay. <laughs> Alright, dude. A glowing one. No, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Stop. Please stop. I oh, oh my gosh, I miss having followers. You, you just... Oh my goodness. I don't like the DLC. Things are scary and hard. <laughs> okay. I'm making my way to the west with lots of dangerous things around, but... Hey, I'm at least using power armor. That's that's a start, right? Now, if only I had a car and a horse or something to get me there faster. I bet there probably is, like, some transportation that I could have probably picked up at some point that I never got or something. I don't know. I can't imagine all of the things that I've missed. Let me check out the radio. Let's listen to Galaxy News. Hello, Capital Wasteland. This is Three Dog, Ow! coming to you loud and proud from Galaxy News Radio. No time. News time, children. Today's weather excessively violent with a chance of dismemberment. Tune in later for our five-day forecast. Thanks for listening, children. This is Three Dog, Ow! and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. We're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. I now listen close like for this important public service weapon. announcement. Remember, children, when the raiders come, there ain't no shame in locking hmm. your doors, barricading the well, windows, and cowering doesn't have anything the particularly bed. exciting to when talk about, does he? When these psychos come to play, <laughs> they have one thing on their minds. Yeah, I think I lost a lot of the um, radio things, too. Raiders I feel like some of them bought. were for um, the, D uh, the DLC. Like I said, I have the Game of the Year edition, and I disabled everything because I could not get... Uh, Fallout 3 to loop to the broke or just loop kept looping and looping back to the main screen. So I'm just happy that I get to keep playing. <laughs> it's it's such a cool game. I really regret that I didn't play it like when it came out. Oh, here we go, a big uh, big friend right here. <laughs> definitely. Oh gosh, I'm definitely gonna have to use. Oh no no no, it's it's, t it's Stinger. I think is what I want for this. <laughs> Boy, I miss Sharon. I really miss having some muscle. <laughs> I need some muscle to help me with these red everything. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, a death claw. That's what's butt blasting me. Yikes. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm bad, I'm bad. Yikes. I'm bad, I'm bad. I'm bad. Stop, stop, stop hitting me. Oh my gosh, you do so much damage. Stop, stop. There's something. There's lasers. There, I hear lasers. This is a dangerous journey. Oh my gosh, I'm going to run out of stim packs really fast. I'm pretty sure I see laser. Oh, yeah, I am being fired at. Screw that. I'm. Oh, nope, I can't. I was gonna try to. I don't know what I was gonna try to do. I'm just getting out of here. Hostile robots, death claws, glowing ones. Do the enemies get much more difficult than this? I don't think they do. Really happy I've got plasma weapons, so. Alright, let's see. Looks like I need to click over here. Alright, this is the Dunwich building over here, I guess. I love having all the areas explored on my map. It's so cool. So I wonder what this place is about. I just can't believe how massive this game actually is. And, you know, the thing is, I always loved the Elder Scrolls games. And for whatever reason, I just never played Fallout. I um, I thought it was a shooting game, even though I knew it was by um, Bethesda. I was like, yeah, but there's like guns and stuff, and I don't like shooting games. Which, you know, I don't like shooting games, but for some reason I just keep playing them. I just keep getting roped into them. I guess I must... I, I guess I'm starting to like them. Still suck at them, but I do like them. I can't seem to... I guess, do I have this place discovered? I was trying to discover it so I could quick travel to it. Would this be my animal friend? Oh, it is! I've got an ant. I like the animal friend perk. Saves a little bit of trouble of having to deal with pests, you know? And plus, you know, I can... Now that we've got um, clean water, we can grow some vegetables, I can fulfill my dream of being a vegan, cross-fitting wastelander or something. And I don't know, is that a Yao Guai up there? Hmm. 
Oh, and there's something dangerous up here. Another death claw? No, it's a. Oh, it's a death bot. All right, cool. Death bot. Don't cry, that's a bad guy. Oh, please stop. Uh, use of lethal for force in progress, you don't say. Oh, I can't, uh, here we go. Let's go for the head there. Oh, come on now. <laughs> that sucked, come on now. Alright, can I just, can I, can I get away from this thing? Uh, here, let me actually aim. Not at its head. <laughs> Alright, and there's sentry bots here, which, yeah, these things sometimes launch missiles directly at my face, so... Fun! Let me save, because I'm walking right into danger. Hmm... Hmm, I don't really see anything else right now, but that's not to say they're not coming. Looks like something's dead over there. Hmm, oh, and there's... There's a person. Okay, friendly. And, alright, I guess that's just dead, whatever it is. Alright, I need to, uh, bind though, that one of those fancy plasma weapons onto... Does it really matter which one I use? Uh, not particularly. I guess I'll just keep using the rifle. I think I need to put some points in energy weapons. Alright, here we go. Rockland Tunnel. Car Tunnel. Yep. Oh, it's a Yaogwai. Hi, you're a person. Oops, open the gate. Whoop. Alright, I just I just played myself. <laughs> Alright. What's up? Did you just say what's up? Hey, you're awake. Alright. Paladin Tristan is just inside. He's waiting for you. Oh, alright, just inside. In I go then. Alright, he's coming out here with his weapon out. Do I need to be concerned? Of anything with anything in here, potato crisp, sugar bombs, Nuka Cola, full Nuka Cola, Brotherhood of Steel symbol there. Looks like they're bringing in supplies, maybe. And uh, I don't know if I should put that up. I probably should <laughs> turn my light on. All right, yeah, this is a. Just an outpost here. We got a scribe with turrets. We're all clear here. Yeah, like they're ready, like they're hunkered down here, ready to defend themselves. Well, well, look who's back amongst the living. Some of us were starting to wonder if you and Sarah were going to pull through. All right, good to see you. I'm here to help. How about we skip the pleasantries and get to work? Elder Lion said you needed help, so here I am. Uh, so you're in charge now. All right, uh, yeah, he said you needed help. Fair enough. <laughs> Intel says the base on the other side of this tunnel is some kind of communications hub for the Enclave. The hope is that if we can crush them here, we can finally break their spirit. Okay, so what do you need me to do? I'm ready to go. I've got a few questions. Well, let's ask them some questions. Well, we've got a bit of time. What's on your mind? Okay, can you quit looking like you're getting ready to box me? <laughs> Art, has the Enclave been putting up much of a flat fight? What happened at the Purifier? What's next? Alright, much of a fight? Not like they did at the Purifier, no. Sweet. We got the sense that after you took care of their headquarters, they didn't have anyone to give orders. So they haven't been as coordinated. Some surrendered, some tried to hold out. It's all ended the same. But don't let that fool you. If we can keep the pressure on them, we win. If not, we give them a chance to reorganize. Well, we don't want that to happen, do we? All right, all right. So what happened back at the Purifier? Well, you saw most of the fighting outside. The robot paved the way for us. We just mopped up the opposition while you and Sarah headed inside. After that, hell if I know, once we'd locked down the perimeter and gotten word that the Purifier was running, we headed in to look for you. Found you and Sarah both unconscious and got you back to the Citadel as fast as we could. Okay. So, after this, then what? We'll strip the place for any usable tech, like always. Mm -hmm. Anything after that depends on what we find in there. If there's any information about other Enclave positions, we'll send that back to the Citadel and come up with a plan. But, like I said, we're pretty sure this is the last big holdout. Mm. If he's pretty sure, I'm guessing that means there's, like, a lot more? Okay, it's about time to move out. Is it? I don't know if I'm ready to move out or not. Let me look around the area. Alright, assist Paladin Tristan during the assault. Alright, let's see, a grenade box, hello. Hmm, 
Well, I think I might definitely... Uh, actually, you know, I'm kind of... Oh, these are bodies. <laughs> Alright, if you need any extra, you know, power armor, you know, here's some enclave soldiers, help yourself. <laughs> You know, I'm, I was going to say I should probably try restarting my game to see if I can't, uh, see if Fox will come back to following me or if maybe I need to go find where Fox is, but maybe this is better to do without a follower because I don't want them to get killed if this is going to be a big battle. Like, if it's, if I'm just, like, looting through a dungeon or something, I like to have a follower because, um, you know, make, makes it easier, of course, but, um... For something like this, I feel like they're almost a liability because they, they die so easily, the followers do. But Sharon has my armor! My really good armor, so I feel like I need to maybe figure out what's... Oh, this goes pretty far in the back. Satellite Relay Station, huh? Oh! Okay, you're just a Brotherhood of Steel. Okay, they're just running around. Alright, I'm not really sure if I'm ready to start this. I'm gonna see if I can't uh, re-enable some of the rest of my DLC now that I've started this. I feel like maybe my the rest of my DLC might work. So I'm gonna do that and um, see if I can't uh, figure out what's going on with one of my followers. Maybe, maybe it is better off with them. Oh, I don't know. On. I was gonna Pay do it without them. But... What you're doing. Are you really griping at me? If anything else, I need my armor pack from Sharon, I think. Alright guys, well, I'm glad to be back with Fallout 3. I'm just going to be playing a little bit longer and then I'm moving on to New Vegas. So, thank you guys for watching and bye for now.